what are the main benefits actually of using cloud services for businesses and individuals? Like you, you, you touched on that point a bit briefly in the beginning, but can you like give us like a bit more details on that? Sure. And I'm going to separate like individuals or end consumers and enterprises, startups, SMBs, etc. Yep. Let's start for our general audience with the end consumer, the end users like yourself, myself in our day to day lives uh, outside work. Uh, one of the best example I like to use is the following. Uh, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, every time I would uh, refresh my personal laptop, uh, it would take me a week of dedication just to reset my environment, migrate my data, uh, uh, ex extract data from my previous laptop onto my new laptop, just set up the whole environment back. Uh, as it was before, making sure I don't forget any data or, or miss migrating any data that was on my previous laptop. And that would take a week, right? Reinstalling the application the same way you like them, right? Yeah. Uh, today, fast forward 20 years later, uh, I don't refresh my laptop the same uh, at the same pace as I used to refresh my laptop. Why? One of the reasons being is because all, most of my services are running in the cloud. So yeah. the processing power is in the public cloud. I just need a laptop that has a web browser. That's Correct. most of the things I need on my current laptop. Second, I don't need to make sure I have the latest and greatest processing technology or processor in my laptop or graphic cards because most of the things is being rendered in the public cloud. Okay. Now all I need is a fast internet connectivity in order to streamline everything. The same way we're doing this recording currently, it's all being streamed uh, over the internet. Yeah. Uh, right. And so having said that, you see the benefits. If you extrapolate this for enterprises, anytime they need to refresh to go to the next gen of technology, it's pretty fast. There's no concepts of migration. You actually outsource this to your software vendor. So SaaS, the software as a service yeah. uh, entity, and that presents a massive benefit. The second yeah. thing that enterprises are massively interested in, not just that speed we, we, and simplicity, but also the agility, if today, let's say uh, you want to run a machine learning algorithm, a model, you're training a model, you need to use the latest and greatest uh, GPU card. Let's pick one from NVIDIA. Mm -hmm. And then we know that NVIDIA, for instance, every year they're coming up with new chipsets. If you were to purchase that NVIDIA chipset today, the GPU card today, a year from now, that's going to be an outdated card. There's going to be cards that enable you to run much faster, right? The pace of innovation is a hockey stick today yep. right it, it's correct it's accelerated at a pace that just we can't keep up and so with cloud you just need to shut down your your uh, your models for, stop uh, stop your models from running on that legacy legacy like one year old ch uh, uh, chip and then ru and reprovision in the next five minutes on this new chip and so yep. now you're getting this benefits of agility suddenly now you're shifting from one technology to a newer one with uh, the click of a button. Now, few buttons and few configurations sometimes required, but within minutes or hours, you, you, you're up and running in the, in the new technology. In the right. legacy world, well, you'd have to purchase this equipment. You'd have to secure a data center space to, to put it, the power required. You'd have to hire uh, engineers, infrastructure people to set up this environment. And then you'd have to amortize the cost of it over the course of three to five years. If in two years, Time frame after you purchase that, there's a breakthrough innovation from that same vendor. You're stuck for the next couple of years because you bought that equipment as a capex. Today, yeah. with cloud, because you're consuming as an opex, you can easily shift to the latest and greatest, and that just represents one of the biggest benefits. And last one, the third one is from the financial implication. Previously, you had to secure a budget to purchase this whole infrastructure as a capex, as a capital expenditure that you'd pay up front. Mm -hmm. uh, as of now, uh, as w in the cloud computing model, then you just pay as you go. You don't have to secure this large budget. You just pay on demand. Uh, you don't have to worry about securing a large budget, et cetera. And that represents another benefits.